Would you like to come and uh, hold that in? Here we go. Shall I take that? That'll be on eBay in ten minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Mayoress. <coughs> yeah, let me, uh, then just also to reciprocate, just a, a little something from the team uh, to you, Ms. Mayor, for, uh, for our stay in Eastbourne. Thank you very much. <laughs> John, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Lady Mayor. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. MC, Saru President, Mr. Oregon Hoskins, and his wife Geraldine, uh, Rugby Football Union CEO, Mr. Ian Ritchie, uh, England Rugby 2015 board member, Mr. Ian Watmore, um, and Mayor of Eastbourne, Ms. Janet Coles, and then also the High Commissioner, South African High Commissioner to, to the UK, Obed Malaba. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you first of all for coming out today. Um, I think standing here on the stage, it, it looks absolutely fantastic, and to see this kind of support really means so much to us. Um, now, I'm one of the older guys on the team, not the oldest. <laughs> uh, so I'm not really into social media, but I just thought, you know, for the sake of this event, I see a lot of flashes going off, a lot of cameras, so maybe we can just get one selfie with all of you in the background. So I'm going to st stand on stage. So if you guys can just go crazy for one minute. And let me take that. So, okay, go now. Go crazy. Get it? You know, that? you know you're going to have to tag everybody on that photo. <laughs> What's tag? <laughs> uh, I suppose you can go onto, uh, onto the SA Rugby handle and Brian Abana's Twitter and Instagram handle. You'll have it on there uh, in no time. I think that's what you call it, handles and stuff. Um, but it's always such a special occasion to, uh, to come to an event like this. Uh, you know, for, for a lot of us, it's, you know, to play for South Africa and to play for the Springboks is, is the thing that we've been dreaming about our whole, our whole lives. Um, and I think we need to congratulate those guys that are making the debut at the World Cup and receiving their, their, their caps for the first time. So, well done to all of those. Thank you. Also, uh, you know, like... Uh, like Mr. Ritchie mentioned, uh, you know, I think it's also a very special occasion for, for Skulk and for Victor making their fourth appearances at a World Cup. So I think an outstanding uh, from them. What, what makes it even more remarkable, Mr. Mayor, that, is that uh, Victor was actually at the opening of this hall in 1870. <laughs> And, and he just said, it's great to be back again. <laughs> um, going on to, on to the internet, uh, you know, it was mentioned today, uh, Eastbourne, the sunniest place in the UK, with a staggering average of 34.6 hours of sunshine a week. <laughs> It really is fantastic. Uh, uh, it's a pity we missed out on, on one of those hours today. Uh, but uh, again, I think a, a, great, a great venue and, and, and what a turnout. Um, you know, as we said, to, to play in the World Cup is, is such a special occasion. Um, you know, and we as, as South Africans, uh, we know the responsibility that goes with that. Uh, for us, playing for the Springboks, playing in a, in a platform like a World Cup is, is so much more than rugby. You know, for, for us, it's about building our nation. For us, it's, it's creating unity. And for us as a team, it's about uh, getting to know the community, getting involved everywhere that we go. You know, we've only been here, you know, almost, almost two days, but already all the people that we've been in contact with have been so helpful in whatever they do. And we're just so grateful that all of you have come out today to, to, to welcome us, first of all. You know, the people from Eastbourne and Brighton, uh, from Birmingham that came down, from Newcastle that came down, the same from Lensbury. And hopefully we can make it another three weeks in London. But, um, you know, rugby is special. 
and, and our responsibility is to get involved with the community, get involved with you know, everything that goes on in this World Cup, uh, expand the brand of rugby throughout the world and make rugby a brand that is played all over the world because that is definitely our responsibility, but also to enjoy every single step of the way. Um, you know, the, the World in Union song says that uh, there's a winner in all of us. But unfortunately, there's only one winner of this competition, and that's certainly our goal as well. So, um, you know, we'll be going to win, to win this, but we'll also be able to hopefully last uh, or, or keep uh, memories that'll, that'll last us for a lifetime. Make new friends, see new places, hopefully make a difference in people's lives. And, uh, you know, if the chair on the cake can be to bring the cup back home, then I think we'll be ticking all those boxes. Interestingly enough, uh, I also read about uh, Beachy Head, uh, the lovely sites at Beachy Head. And on a lighter note, it also being um, quite high from a suicide rate level. Um, so if we do not win the cup, you might see some of us back later this year. Um, but just in short, thank you very much to the hosting union, England. Uh, I think it's... I'm really looking forward to this World Cup. Um, you know, I think I think it's going to be the best World Cup. Um, you know, just to see the the way that the planning has gone, the people that's involved, and you know, when uh, when you guys do host something, you you put everything into it and you make it quite special. So, uh, from the South African rugby team, from the players, thank you so much for coming out. All the supporters, without the support, you know, this team, this badge, it means nothing. So. We play for you guys, we play for the people back home, we play to uni unify the nation and, uh, and, and hopefully also you know, expand the game of rugby and, and make it a global game. So to everyone involved, thank you very much. Thank you for coming out today and I hope we have a fantastic seven weeks. Thank you. Cool.